There are many ways to be brave in this world. Sometimes bravery is laying down your life for something bigger than yourself. Sometimes bravery is nothing more than gritting your teeth through pain. And sometimes it's letting go of everything. My name is Jeremiah Thomas. I have bone cancer and I am dying. Three months ago, I was diagnosed with an aggressive cancer. The doctors say my time is almost up. My dream to play college football is dead. My dream to minister is dead. I was absolutely blindsided by this news. In less time than it takes to play a full football season, my life has been taken over by cancer. So here I am. I'm lying down in bed, typing this letter. I've lost my hair, my ability to walk, the sensation in my legs and back, and my football career. But I haven't lost my faith in open God. In fact, my faith in Him has been strengthened. I've grown so much closer to my Savior, knowing full well that my life is in His hands. He has been with me every step of the way, guiding me and teaching me. I don't know how much time I have left on this earth, but with what time I do have, I want this account for God and my generation. This is my call to my generation. Leave it all behind. We've grown up in a culture of death, sexual confusion, immorality, and fatherlessness. One third of our generation has been wiped out due to abortion. Over 25 million people have died as a result of AIDS. More young people die from suicide than from cancer and the other seven leading causes of death combined. My call to you today is to come back to the Father. Leave behind the darkness, deception, and despair. If you're going through depression, there is hope in Christ. If you're battling disease, there is healing in Christ. If you're contemplating suicide or abortion, there is abundant life found in Christ. Let's make a journey of saving faith back to the Father's house. It is there and there only we will find light, love, and life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It is my sincere prayer that you will take my words to heart and be reconciled to the Lord through the merits of Jesus Christ. May God's kingdom come and His will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in Jesus' name.